Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about my biggest dressage fears and how I fix them. So let's jump right in. Uh, my first biggest dressage fear that I have had for a long time and that took me a long time to fix was table spacings. Now, if you don't know what table spacings is, it's when you have distance from the wall. Um, and I really struggled knowing how much distance I should maintain from the wall at all times. Um, not just when I was doing table spacings, which is a large gap from the wall, but just in general, when I was doing curl drills, when I was doing moves, and it stressed me out because I would be very fidgety with controlling and I would be like, maybe that's too far, maybe that's too close. My advice to you would be to do whatever is enough so that you can still do all your dressage comfortably, but not too far that it doesn't really look like you're on the wall and it looks like you're in a comb or you're doing a cut or something like that. Um, I mean, generally like speaking, over time as you start doing more elite moves, you kind of forget about w the wall and your gaps and everything because you're so focused on what move you're currently doing. Um, so it does get easier over time, I'd say. I think it's the hardest when um, you're bored trotting on the wall or there's a period or a pause in between the commander calling moves and you just kind of overthink the wall stuff. So just don't overthink it. Do whatever is comfortable for you. And um, yeah, it gets easier. <laughs> um, my second fear that I have a lot even nowadays is missing a go and I'm pretty sure this is for a lot of people because it tends to happen quite often during practices during private lessons I have done it other people have done it um, and this really feedback only goes to the commander um, but in a move where there's multiple goes sometimes it can be hard to see which go you just did and which go the commander just called um, so as advice i'm going to demonstrate here eh, okay let's do an orbit so if i did an orbit set then our club usually calls multiple goes for two gated curls so I would do a pre and then a go. So I walk curl and then a pre. And on the second go, I do a period after the go. And that helps your eye find a little bit of a contrast between the two. If you have a go that looks like this and a go that has a period at the end, then you can distinguish that. Like you can see a pattern of period, no period, period. I saw my commander do this once and I was like, that is a genius idea. <laughs> so if you are a commander who struggles, you know, um, with distinguishing goes or your members do, then I highly recommend doing um, like alternating between periods and punctuation between goes so you can just see the difference better. Um, especially when you're not calling pre's, that just gets very confusing. Um, so that's what I recommend. And the last fear I have a lot, and I mean a lot, and I have had this a lot, is um, just not a lot of confidence in your moves um, and the fear that you might forget a move or that you might be... I don't know, whatever yelled at for not getting a move right. And if there's one thing I have learned throughout the years, it's that regardless of how many moves you forget or how many mistakes you make, that doesn't define you as a person or your dressage capability. Um, so instead of focusing on how other people feel about your mistakes or how your reputation is going to be if you make a mistake, focus on uplifting yourself and carrying yourself through a lesson rather than looking for other people's validation if that makes sense focus on yourself because that is the 
path to success is just to focus on yourself and do what you know is right, which is to persevere. With that being said, that brings this video to an end. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> um, but I hope some of these mistakes or fear, not mistakes, fears <laughs> will be relatable to some of you. Definitely, these are like some of my most common ones. But yeah, so without further ado, why do I always say without further ado? Gosh, okay. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And yeah, bye bye.